The world of rock has lost a true legend. Former Iron Maiden lead vocalist Paul Diano has passed away, and the details surrounding his death have just been revealed. Born Paul Andrews, this iconic singer left us at the age of 66 in his home in Salisbury, Wiltshire, England, on October 21. A heartfelt statement on Diano's Facebook page shared the news of his passing, revealing that he succumbed to a tear in the sack around the heart. His sisters, Cheryl and Michelle, confirmed the heartbreaking details. Basically, he had a tear in the sack around the heart, and blood filled inside it from the main aorta artery, causing the heart to stop. Paul's death was instantaneous and hopefully painless. May he rest in peace. This past weekend, fans and friends gathered for an in-memoriam show at Underworld Camden, celebrating Diano's life with a powerful musical tribute. A touching photo of family and friends remembering him was shared on social media, capturing the love and respect he inspired. Diano's record label, Conquest Music, announced his death, noting that he had faced severe health issues that left him wheelchair-bound before his passing. On behalf of his family, Conquest Music is sad to confirm the death of Paul Andrews, professionally known as Paul Diano, they stated. Despite his struggles, Paul continued to entertain fans worldwide, performing over 100 shows since 2023. As Iron Maiden's lead vocalist from 1978 to 1981, Diano contributed to two groundbreaking albums, 1980's, Iron Maiden, and 1981's, Killers. He was later succeeded by Bruce Dickinson, who led the band in paying tribute to Diano just a day after the news broke. Paul was instrumental in the first two albums, Dickinson told the crowd, an amazing voice, devoted to rock and roll right up till the last minute of his life. Years after leaving the band, Diano opened up about his struggles with addiction, admitting, it wasn't just that I was snorting a bit of coke, I was just going for it non-stop 24 hours a day every day. He faced the pressures of the band's commitments and ultimately stepped aside. Tragically, Diano passed away just a week after Iron Maiden announced their 50th anniversary tour, a bittersweet reminder of the legacy he leaves behind. Let's remember Paul Diano not just for his struggles, but for the incredible music and passion he brought to the world of rock. Rest in peace, Paul.